Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode we're going to be solving a Physics 7b electric circuits practice problem. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe, it really helps our channel. So this is the circuit that we are going to be working with today. Um, so feel free to pause the video in order to copy the circuit and the instructions. We are basically going to be working with different uh, you know, we're going to be doing a bunch of stuff to the circuit and we're going to pretty much figure things out as we go. So let's just go ahead and get this problem started. So as you can see, I have everything written down here. And the first thing uh, that we have to do for this quiz is find the equivalent resistance of this circuit and also the current coming out of the battery. So we need to find an equivalence uh, resistance from you know combining all of these resistors together and we also need a total current. Now obviously whenever uh, you're asked for a total resistance then there really is no other way except you need to start with this and then just do a step by step in order to start reducing your circuit. So let's just go ahead and do that. So the first thing that I'm gonna do there are honestly a lot of things that you can do to start this problem. These two are in series, uh, these two are in series, this is in parallel with this. So you can do, um, you know, there is more than one way in which you can start reducing this. Another thing is that once you have a certain amount of experience, you can do two steps at once. Uh, now obviously I don't recommend this if you're just starting out um, or if you're just practicing for a quiz because by a lot of experience I mean like you've been doing this for at least weeks. Uh, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to do this step by step. So I think that a lot of students would uh, have trouble realizing that these two resistors are in series. But I think that students uh, have a very easy time realizing that these two are in series because these two are sort of like connected one right after the other and they are clearly not in parallel. So because they are not in parallel um, and they are connected, they have the same current flowing through them, then they are in series. So I'm just going to draw a new circuit. So this circuit, now this guy I haven't touched, this guy I haven't touched, this is still 380, I didn't do anything to it, this battery is still 12, but this is the combination of these two guys over here. Now these two guys are in series and we know that by definition, you know, R in series is just add them up, literally add them up. So this guy over here is just the addition of these two. So this is just equal to 20 ohms. Now we need to take another step. Now, I think that students would uh, have no trouble figuring out that these two are in parallel because by definition, resistors in parallel start at the same junction and end at the same junction. So because they start and end at the same junction and also the current splits up and then combines afterwards, these two are in parallel. So let me just go ahead and redraw this circuit. Um, so this is 12 volts. This is a battery. This is still 4 ohms. I haven't done anything to this guy. Uh, this resistor is still just one. I haven't done anything to this guy over here. And this is going to be uh, the parallel equivalent of these two. Now let's just remember that by definition R parallel, uh, one over R parallel is equal to R1, one over R1 plus one over R2. So these are parallel, I'm just gonna figure it out. So in this case, uh, my R parallel is equal to one over 20 plus one over 380. Take the inverse of that. So let, let me just grab a calculator. So this is <coughs> Now 
19 ohms. Like this. So now uh, we basically just need to combine this in series and then we're basically done. That, is, that will be our equivalent circuit. Now I think that because these three are clearly in series that I can just skip one step and just combine them all together at once. The only thing that I have to do is, you know, whenever I have more than two then I just add them all up, assuming that they're all in series. So my final or reduced circuit is 12 volts over here and then this guy over here, which is my final answer, it's just the addition of them, so this is 24 ohms. So final answer for the equivalent resistor is 24 ohms. And for the current, the only thing that I have to do at this point is make a loop. So this is a total current because this is a current that's crossing the battery, so that is by definition the total current. So all I have to do is use my loop rule over here and that's what's going to make it so that I can find it. So if I start on this corner, the first thing that I encounter whenever I'm doing a loop is these 12 volts. And then the other thing that I'm encountering is this resistor. So this is minus I total times R, which is 24. And I'm doing a full loop, so this has to be equal to zero. That will be the loop rule. So I total is just uh, 12 divided by uh, 24 positive because it goes to the other side of the equations. So I total is just 0 0.5 amps, final answer. All right, so this is the end of part one. So let, let me just read part two. Uh, the 7 ohm resistor in part A burns out so that the current can no longer flow through it. What is the new equivalent resistance of the circuit? Okay, so this will be part A, so let me just grab a very different marker to do part B with this one. So for part B, this resistor burns out. So instead of having a resistor, this is, you know, this burns out which basically cancels out this entire branch over here. Because if this opens up by burning out, then no electricity can flow over here. And if no electricity can flow through this branch, then that basically cancels out the entire branch. So my new circuit is basically gonna look like, uh, so I'm gonna have four ohms over here and then I'm going to have 380 ohms over here and then I'm just going to have one ohm like this and then my battery. So I used to have a branch over here but now that branch is the energized so if, if there is no electricity flowing through it then you don't really consider it so you can just take it out. So this is my new circuit and as you can see, these three resistors are in series with each other. So instead of doing a very long procedure, I can just add them up in series. So let's see. Our equivalent is just the series of these three. Uh, so that would be 380, 384, 385 ohms, final answer. Luckily for us, burning this out means no tricky parallels, so it's just the addition of these three. But we did, um, the, the thing that we needed to know, of course, was that by burning out this, the entire branch goes away. So now part C of the problem says, uh, a wire is placed across both ends of the 380 resistor so that it is shorted out the 7 ohms resistor from part B has been repaired. Which resistors have more current than they did in part A? Which resistors have no current going through them? Okay, so I feel like I'm just gonna redraw this resistor real fast, uh, this uh, circuit real fast. So my original circuit was, so 12 over here, 4, 
380. Uh, so this is 4, 380, 13, 7, 1. All right, so this is it. So you recover your original circuit and then you place a wire on both ends of the 380 resistor. So this means that there's going to be a wire from here to here, like this. And now we're basically being asked what is gonna happen to the currents. So let's see. Now on the original uh, on the original circuit, we used to have one current and it's split in two because the junction was just you know you have one incoming current and two outgoing currents. But now we actually have three outgoing currents or three possible outgoing currents. So we just need to figure out what's gonna happen. Um, to all of the resistors. Now this resistor over here is still gonna have a current and then once the current gets here the current basically needs to decide uh, where is it gonna go? Is it gonna go this way, this way, or this way? Now uh, remember that whenever we have two paths of different resistance the current is gonna favor the path of least resistance but whenever we have a current, uh, I'm sorry, whenever we have a path of no resistance, then all of the current is just gonna choose that path. And that is exactly what's gonna happen over here because the current is gonna see some resistance here, some resistance here and no resistance. So what's gonna happen once the current gets here is that it's just gonna flow like this and then it's just gonna continue down like this because this is a path of no resistance and again uh, the path of least resistance is different from the path of no resistance uh, whenever there is a path of least resistance the current is going to proportionately prefer it whenever there is a path of no resistance then all of the current is just going to go through it so essentially my uh, this wire here shorts out uh, this resistor, this resistor, and this resistor. So the new equivalent resistor is just this. Uh, 12 volts like this. So this, this entire circuit is equivalent to just having these two resistors. These three are de-energized. Um, so first of all, final answer uh, for these three guys is that the 380 ohms, the 13 ohms, and the 7 ohms have no current. Final answer for these three guys. And now for these two, we have to figure out if the current is greater, smaller, or equal. Well. By taking out these resistors, as you can imagine, you are lowering the equivalent resistance of your circuit. And as resistance goes down, then that means that the current goes up. So you could just make that argument and call it a day that you need a higher current over here or that you're going to get a higher current over here. But, you know, if you can't just see it, then what honestly a lot of students did was just use your loop rule like this. And your loop rule is uh, 12 minus I times 4 minus um, I times 1 is equal to 0. So 12 minus 5 I is equal to 0. So your new current is 12 divided by 5. So your new current is uh, 2.4. Your current used to be 0 0.5 and taking out the resistors made it so that now it's 2.4. So that means that for the 4 ohms and the 1 ohms, then higher current. 
again, this is just, if you just don't have any idea and you have like an extra two seconds on your quiz, you can just figure it out. But a good enough answer was just uh, justifying your answer by saying that because you lowered the equivalent resistance of your circuit, then your current has to go up given the same battery. So that was a good enough answer. Um, so we're basically done with this quiz. As usual, if you have any questions, leave them up in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video.